we've actually started a dialogue about the, um, you know, the current financial system, the, the economic crisis, the global economic crisis, as, as well as the things we're talking about in the UK. Um, and we've got a dialogue going, you know, if you look at the media right now, since we've been occupying, there's so many more conversations happening than, I mean, there were conversations about it before, there's so much more of it happening now. Many, many of these conversations have started from a, a position of hostility that you have caused a great deal of inconvenience, mm -hmm. that it has caused a great deal of perhaps even intimidation to worshippers who would have gone into right. St. Paul's to, to pray. I wonder now that you look back, would you have done it differently, anything differently at all? Me personally, I, I can't speak on behalf of the whole Occupy on that. Me personally, I have done exactly the same thing again, and I would continue to do it over and over again until we have some some beginnings of some change. Well, that, that's interesting. Um, does that mean that over and over again feeling that you have, does that mean that no matter what the courts say on Wednesday, you're there to stay? Um, you know, I mean, the, the judge may well decide to make an eviction order, and... The, the, that particular camp is full of lots of individuals as much as we are a group of people and people will make their own decisions. There is some feeling of uh, people may wish to peacefully resist, not fight or be violent and things, you know. We certainly don't want a Dale Farm type situation. People may peacefully resist, which may mean they, they feel so strongly. Do you think there will be resistance? I mean, how many people are actually there? Because there are widespread reports that there aren't many people there at all. There are lots of well, empty tents there. Well, the thing is that not everybody can stay there all day and all night, every day. So it's, it's on a rolling thing, you know. Some, some people stay, I mean, I stay there permanently for the whole four months. There were some people that were unable to do that, so they'll come and support it and stay at the weekend. Or some, uh, quite a lot of people actually go out to work and then come back in the evening. So the tents are never going to be completely full and neither are there any houses on any street in any part of the UK. Uh, nobody's home is permanently occupied 24 hours. Okay. Right. People do 